Hey y'all and welcome to Real Steel with Nana. Today I am coming to do my first cooking segment so I'm so happy about that. Um, I'm coming to make honey garlic salmon with potatoes, rice, and a salad. So if you want to stick around, if you could please help me out. How y'all doing? Thank you for watching. Like my video and subscribe if you want to see more cooking videos like this or whatever. Okay, it's new to me. Anytime you cook, you got to make sure you have something to drink, whether it's your water or whatever you want to sip on. So go ahead and get comfy and we're about to get started. Okay, so what I can say, guys, is that I have bought big, two big fillets of salmon today at the grocery store, right? It's my first time ever cooking salmon, so if I'm doing anything wrong, you know, you can leave it in the comments. I'm always open to advice. Just don't get nasty with me, okay? I'm also cooking chicken and I have some shrimp on the side because my nieces and my... Yeah, I say best friend, but my friend, she's coming over. So one of her daughters don't eat seafood, and I also have somebody in my house that's probably not too fond of like the sweetness. So with that being said, I'm going to fry chicken on the side. Right, so I'll use that pot. Um, I've already washed my hands, but I will wash my hands on camera just because I'm not, I'm cooking for my family, so I'm not gonna be in here using gloves or anything like that. I have my potatoes boiling behind me. Any types of potatoes. I have some small potatoes. I'm using a little recipe that I seen on Trick Daddy's. Bitch, I got my pots. It's his thing. So let me check these potatoes. And they look like they're getting rinsed off. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn those off and set those up there. Let those cool for a little bit. Um, I've already pre-washed the salmon. Like I said, what I will say is when I since this is my first time cooking salmon. Once I got it out the package, it had skin on the back, and I, I did not want that black skin, so I skinned the salmon. When I tell you it made my flesh crawl, because it felt so nasty, it was like I could feel the ridges in the skin, and I'm just like, oh. But I do love salmon, and I'm trying to eat healthier and eat softer food, seeing that I got my teeth done. So I want to be able to try different recipes for my family. So I've been watching videos all day looking at different recipes and I'm just gonna try to go off of what I've seen so far. And like again, like I said, if you see anything wrong, you can always feel free to give me some advice and leave some advice in the comments. I'm gonna cut off these little thin pieces. All right, so what I did, I pre-skinned it and cleaned the salmon. Um, I have a mixture of seasoning, garlic, some oil. It said it helps the seasoning to stay on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by putting a little of the oil on there just to try to help the seasoning and stuff stick to the salmon. And it can help me, you know, crisp the salmon. I'm going to rub that all on there. And I'll probably hit the back side as well. It may not, it may see through, it may get enough. I don't know. I'll flip it around and see how it gets to. You have to excuse me, y'all. Wash my hands a lot throughout this because I hate my hands feeling nasty. Um, I do know that the recipe calls for like a little lemon juice squeeze on there, or I might be able to put it inside of the honey glaze mix. So inside of my seasoning, we have salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, a little old bay, and I watched a few recipes, but I just went ahead and some people put it, some people didn't. It's up to your preference. I put a little parsley just for the, the flat, I mean, just for the color. So later on, if, if I don't see it that much, then I'll go ahead and put some more. So we're going to start off by seasoning the salmon. We're going to try to get it on every piece. Um, I'm probably going to have about eight to 10 people in my house tonight. So I'm trying to cook a little heavy. And then again, I mentioned I'm going to fry chicken as well on the side. So once I get this together, I'll start on the chicken and I'm going to make my salad and stuff in the midst of it. So this, the honey, the garlic, the butter, and the honey, and the lemon juice is supposed to make the thing. And I will lay these inside of the pan, the cut-up ones. All right, so I have that on that side. I'm going to go ahead and flip them over and season them on the back side. Just so that it can, you know, have some flavor in it. Um, we're trying to go for that sweet but still seasoned taste. Some of these are falling apart, like I, I'll tell you, because, baby, when I seen that skin... I was cutting for dear life trying to get as much of that black skin off and I can show it to you. I had it sitting over there on the side. It's just really, it was disgusting to me. 
but the job must be done. Mama Bear got to take care of the cups. So I'm going to flip these and I'll do the same thing. I'm not going to add any more oil on there because I feel like the oil will, I'm not trying to fry it. I just want to brown it on both sides and then I'm going to put it in the oven on broil. That's what I've seen on a couple of the recipes. It's not nothing that I'm not trying to make blackened salmon. I just want it to be like a little crispy, but still, you know, soft in the middle. So, maybe before we started this, I was having technical difficulties. My, um, the phone had just like shut off. I hope I ain't talking too soon. I hope it don't cut off no more, but I couldn't even get my phone to cut off. I was like, what is I'm gonna go ahead and turn my stove on on the back on like medium high so that it can start getting hot for when it's time for me to start making this honey glaze, which is the stuff that I'm going to base the salmon with. So while that's warming up, I'll go ahead and season the other side. And if I happen to run out of seasoning while I'm doing this, I'll just put some more on there. But it looks like I've prepared enough. Pretty much I bought it and you know. Okay. Alright, so I have some cut up garlic, butter honey and lemons on the side and I'm going to squeeze the lemon juice inside of there to, to make the honey base. Um, I may make two rounds of it again because I like myself saucy. So I'll start with the paste for me to go ahead and base it and enough for me to put it in the pan to try to brown it. Um, well, I think I'm going to use the same pan. So with that being said, let me prep the pan that I'm going to put in the oven. So... salt in them to try to prevent the shell from sticking to the eggs and it'll make it easier when it's time for me to fill it and put it up. So let me grab some salt. I'll put this on the other side. So the front needs to go ahead and come up like right here. And put some salt in my water. take some water out because I don't want it to overflow. I may only have room for five. Let me see. I may be able to squeeze six in there. I don't want to make it more. Okay, there it goes. I'm up to six. cooking a lot of starches. I don't even know if it's starches because I'm not good. I don't know how to be too healthy, but I'm working on it. So I'll put the one at the top and touch down down there. I'll use that one later. So I'm not you always want to rinse out these store pans. You don't know who been touching them in the warehouse, in the store, whatever. And it's true. You can wash it out. Playing in the background, y'all can't really hear it, but that's my girl, so 
her entry video to inspire me on making my show. I've always said I wanted to do my cooking show. Yeah, I know I love to cook, so I'm gonna start working on that and building up my channel. So please help your girl now, please, y'all. Can you just subscribe to my channel? It ain't gonna cost you nothing. If you see my video, like it. Just help a sister out. You ain't gotta go back and listen to it. Just yeah, okay. So I have the egg going. I have the potatoes already boiled. They're sitting there cooling. Um, I'm going to get ready to start making the paste for the salmon. It feels like it's a little wet right here, so I'm gonna wipe this floor real quick, y'all, and then I'll wash my hands because I don't want to slip on camera. That right there will not be funny. Y'all gonna be laughing, and I'm gonna be up here like this. Yeah. You saying I thought I was a chef boy and I slipped in the kitchen? No. So my kids right now, they went swimming. They daddy took them swimming. I'm like, hallelujah. I told them I'm in here. I'm going to make me a video, y'all. Leave me alone. Call my other phone if you need me. Holla if you hear me. Some of y'all know I smoke. If I happen to walk off the camera and you hear anything, you know, that's me over there. All right, so I'm going to start with my pan. And since I have so many pieces of salmon, I'm going to go ahead and put the whole stick. It's not a whole, it's like a three-fourths. I'm going to put three-fourths stick of butter in there. Let me go ahead and get me some type of spatula. I'm going to move the camera this way, y'all, so you can see me and see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to try to keep it right here or come back and talk or whatever I need to. So right now, I'm just browning this butter, melting it, so it can give me a good paste. I'm going to, yeah, y'all going to see me move this around until I get my camera set up, which I'm going to invest into some cameras and stuff. Um, I'm going to squeeze it over there, squeeze it over here. I think those going to cook on some, so I'm probably going to squeeze it over here. Let me see. So over here is going to be the lemon, the garlic, and the honey. I have my tongs. I'm going to turn this down again because I'm not trying to burn my butter. I'm just trying to have enough for me to uh, cook some of this garlic. Yep. Y'all yeah, put that garlic in there. I'm already smelling good, y'all. If y'all like me, y'all like garlic and the garlic, the smell of it and stuff, I just love it. Again, like I said, I might have to make some taste at the end or add some additional stuff in there because I want my I want my um, salmon to be sauced up. I don't want it to be real dry. Yeah, I know y'all don't like nothing dry, especially y'all men. I'm gonna try to get some seeds about it. You know the seeds don't matter, but it's just, I don't want it over here. Ooh, and I want that falling in the side of my stove though. Gotta keep this kitchen clean, honey. Make it easier for me to Okay, so right there I have the butter melting and the garlic and everything mixing together, the lemons. And I'm going to go ahead and add the honey in there to give it that, that why. It's that ooh, that ah, that ooh. So if it gets dry while I'm cooking it, because again, this is my first time ever making salmon. Y'all, I'm even in my little flat booty in the camera. No, I'm just playing. Let me stop. But... I'm going to add enough to try to make it into a paste. Not too much to overpower the garlic, but I want the garlic to know that the honey is here. So I'm going to mix all this together, mix this together, 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 together. And if I had a little more time, which I do, I would marinate the marinate the salmon because I've seen a lot of people saying to do that, but we have a dinner in a minute, so I'm not going to do all that fancy shit tonight. Next time, I'll prepare better, but I had to go to the store and do everything at one time. So, with that being said, 
They better take it how they get it up. Go get you some Williams chicken, honey. You know we love Williams. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set this in here. Some of these, as many as I can fit in there at one time to where I can start browning this and getting this stuff full of dirt. And so what I may do, since I want it sauced up, I'm probably gonna make paste once or twice after I, after I cook one or two batches, then I'll probably make, prepare another one in here so that I can just pour the liquid on top of the salmon in my big pan. Okay, so let me wash my hands or rinse my hands and then I'll turn back up the heat a little bit because it looks like it's cooking, but it's not It's not giving that I want it to crisp a little bit, baby. Like, yeah, I'm just going cooking it. Okay, so while that's browning over there, which I'm going to be watching it, I'm going to turn it over here and I'm going to prepare two pans. I'm going to do one pan and, and layer it with lemons so that I can start getting that ready. And I'm also going to start making my salad. So, let me wipe off my camera so I see it got seasoning and stuff on there. It's good to clean while you go so that whenever it's over, you don't have to clean so much. Unfortunately, I'm low on dishwashing liquid today, so I got some. I, you know, black paper, black paper, I had to add a little water in it and make it work, but today and tomorrow, I need to go to the store. So I see it over there bubbling a little bit. I'm going to let it do its thing for like two minutes, one minute, and I flip it over. Right here, I definitely need my eggs. I put the eggs on top, I believe, so I'll do everything else, and then I can go. Um, do, do, do. This is about the same thing. I bought some spinach anyway, but I, you know, first in, first out. No, it says make sure third. I've been gone for two weeks at Florida, in Florida, y'all. So those of y'all that know me know I've been gone. Um, tomatoes, cheese, bacon bits, salt, pepper, pickles. Everywhere. Okay, I got the bacon bits. I need my pickles. I don't know what they are. Do I hear stuff over here sizzling? That's my eggs. Let me check that. Come on, y'all. Let's check the salmon. I'm gonna try to get y'all as close as I can. I'm trying to see which one is sizzling. That's the egg sizzling. Let me get the towel. Yeah, we got plenty of towels over here folded up, cleaned up, and everything in the drawer. My friend did not say, came to my house. Like I told y'all, clean as y'all go. So then y'all stove won't be so dirty at the end. It won't be hard for you, you know? So that looks like it's cooking a little good. I'm gonna test one piece and just see what it's looking like. And it's still a little soft. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that cook for a minute or two. Let me let that do its thing and let me get out of this business. That's what I tell myself when I'm being shit that ain't got nothing to do with me right now. Let me leave that alone. Okay, so over here, I'm going to work on my, let me find my pickles. I'm still never found my pickles. Let me turn these eggs down because they over here popping out on my stove. Maybe I'm trying to cook and do y'all thing. It's a little bit dirty on my stove right there, baby. All right, I have ranch as well, and my cheese is still there. So, again, I'm using a big pan because I'm having guests come over. Um, I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to use a few different types, which is only spinach and then some spring mix. So... And then I'm going to use my hand to toss it around. Just because I don't know if, if y'all are like me, I'm going to drop something. I'm going to pick that up in a minute. But I like different type of lettuces. So I like the carrots and stuff that be in there and all that too. I don't know if it be so lettuce I'm picking that up because my can of clean, baby. And I'm going to throw these away on the floor. Pick some up off the floor. I'm gonna leave y'all over there. Pick some stuff up. Look at them. Touching on stuff. I never eat that thing, honey. Baby. Positive vibes up here, honey. Let me go ahead and pull this trash bag without this trash can. Going to be out in that trash pile. And then I'll just put it on my kids. Because I'm going to be out in that trash pile. Let me go ahead and pull this trash bag out. Let me 
this book thinking that somebody overseas is trash can and they believe it all the time. So let me pull this out of here. Wash my hands one more time because I'm dealing with the trash. I just pulled it out. I'm gonna use the whole roll of a fucking um, paper tax. Yeah, I'm checking the family again though because I'm, I'm off camera. It's just baby, I'm tired of moving the camera around. Let me take it up just a little more. All right, so I have that, and then I always season my, my uh, lettuce. So I'm going to put a little salt and pepper in there. Okay. So a little salt. I'm not putting a lot. It might probably look like it, but it's not. And then I'm going to put a little pepper. I have the six eggs boiling as well. Using one of my cutting boards, so I'm gonna use paper plates right here to cut up my sides that yeah, I need, like my tomatoes and stuff like that. And I'll start preparing my chicken in a minute. Cause don't forget, I am frying chicken for the people that don't eat seafood. They spoiled over here, honey. So first, I'm gonna start with tomatoes and pickles, and you wanna always rinse off your tomatoes as well. Pickles out of there um, to cut up to put in the sandwich. Okay. I'm still checking the salmon, y'all. I'm trying to check the salmon often to see if it's browning because, again, like I said, I'm not trying to make brown uh, blackened salmon. I'm just trying to brown it enough to where. It's a little crispy, but it may be because I got like so much liquid on there. I don't know, but I'm gonna definitely let it cook and let it do its thing. Cause I would always love it to be wet like that and full of moisture than to be dry and sticking to the pan and cooking so fast. So I'll do the tomatoes first. I'm gonna cut them this way and then I'll cut them sideways. If I can cut them again, I'll cut them again. Trying to get them as small as I can. See if there's any stickers. No. Y'all, yeah, sorry if I get a little quiet sometimes. Because, baby, when I be in my zone, I'm in my zone. I already been having my little drinks and stuff. I wasn't supposed to be drinking. I'm trying to slow down on drinking, but I'm off today. And what else is that to do? Yeah. Y'all, I'm just trying to be myself on this channel and interact with my people. I've been wanting to vlog for a long time. And just let you guys interact with me on my everyday life. Because, I mean, it's always more than just turning up. I turn up sometimes, not as much as I used to. But I'm definitely becoming a homebody. I'm loving my house. I'm embracing my house. It's beautiful. I'm so grateful to be here. Baby, them eggs is over there popping, honey. I'm going to have to really clean that stove off. That's what I don't like. And I'm not no big tomato fan, so if, if I cut up two of these or something, that looks like enough, that's enough. I don't need no whole lot of tomatoes. I'm just, you know, trying to make sure that I have enough. More is always better than, than not enough. I'd rather have enough than not enough. Okay, so I'm going to 
Let me wipe my stove off, y'all, because I hear the pigs over there just doing this. I can't pop it on tight and wipe shit out my stove. This is what we got to do. Ain't no shit hot. Okay. So it looks like the salmon is over here doing something. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and try to flip this over. It looks like it's a little brown. Okay. Any pieces that break off whatever, I'm gonna still flip it over. It's still going in the pot. I'm not gonna let that kill my brine. But ooh, it's definitely browning, y'all. It on the, ooh, it's breaking apart though. Probably because I took that skin off. So next time, because I watched a video where some guy he cooked his and he took the skin off last. Uh, but maybe if I try to pick it up big like that, that'll work. Okay, so he took his skin off last. And um after he cooked it and he said it was so easy to peel off, but he liked it the skin. Me honestly, the skin made it feel like uh, look like that it was some fucking dead catfish right out the the ocean so i'm gonna let that side brown a little bit more i'm gonna go ahead and try to look at this other uh tomato real quick i might cut it a different way this time just okay i'm probably gonna turn the um the blower on or the vent that's over my stove because I don't want it to get smoky in here. I've never made like the alarms go off, but I've only been in this house for almost two months now, so. It smells so good, so, but I can see now the way that the sauce is puffing up, I'm probably most definitely gonna have to keep making that paste, and which that's fine. It wasn't no problem to cut up the garlic and stuff like that. Everything's already seasoned. I just need to be able to cook it and not have it dry sticking to the pan. As long as everything has a paste on it, I can do what I need to do. She said, if that's what God placed you on your earth, amen. Whatever God has in store for you, whatever God puts on your mind, don't ever feel like, oh, I don't think I can do that, baby. Just put the, the motion with the ocean and start getting a play together. A play, I mean a, a action plan. That's what I mean when I say a play. Sometimes I get a good idea. All right, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go ahead and start. I don't know. I think I'm going to put my lids on top. I think I'm going to do that because I want my salmon to cook at the bottom. So I'll have the paste that I can pour over there. So I'm not going to layer it at the bottom. And it looks real good. So let me go ahead and pull out my butter because I'm going to need my butter, my garlic. Yeah, I've had sticks of butter for days. And I, I might use a lot of butter when I cook, baby, but you're going to taste the love in it. Sometimes butter ain't just that good for you, honey, but we, we over here getting it how we do it. So, with that being said, I'm going to let that cook like one or two more minutes while I go ahead and slice and dice these pickles. I'm going to cut it down the middle. I don't know if y'all can see. Oh, no, because it ain't even on me. Why am I drunk? Okay, so I'm going to slice and dice these pickles. Oh, I also have some ham as well. I forgot. I always put ham, bacon bits, pickles, tomatoes, cheese, boiled eggs. I have some croutons as well in my pantry, but I'm trying to slow down on the croutons because again, I'm trying to eat different with these teeth and just in like, I'm trying to lose weight in my stomach area and the bread and stuff. Y'all don't start getting sporty and fancy with this uh knife. That's what your daddy told me too, honey. You ain't gonna, don't, you ain't gonna get nothing up off me. You ain't gonna say, I, I watched her cut it up like this. She told me to do it like this and I sliced my hand. The devil is a lie. You better be careful and, and hey, you ain't Chef Bardi, and if you is, then hey, gonna do what you gotta do. Ooh, I just dropped that pickle. I'm gonna get it up in here. Yeah, in a minute. I people love salad too, so they love my salad as well. Remember, season that lettuce. You don't want to taste not bland straight out the package. And some people wash it. I don't know if they wash it or what. I don't wash it. I've never washed it. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, I get on here and wash it. I probably should. Because. Ain't no 
cut up some ham in just a second. I'll cut up a few rolls of ham. I'll get that as two plates. Let me go ahead and transfer that salmon because I don't want it overcooking. I don't want it to dry out. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off of the fire. And I'm going to I told y'all the pieces that's breaking off or whatever, I'm just still laying them in the pot. I mean, they still got to be eight. They still going to go in the same spot to the same place, huh? start the process so that cooked about let me show y'all this y'all let me take this off y'all see that just wait to the end honey just wait just wait just wait I'm trying not to be so like up in the camera like that okay so let me go ahead and put my other stick of butter in there, we're gonna do the same process. I'm gonna grab some of this garlic from this back counter real quick, and I already have the honey behind me. So that's that. This piece, I'm gonna cut up some of this garlic. I'm gonna go up and I'm sliding out of my hands, Lord. I really don't even like touching garlic with my hands. Cause it be on there, honey. It's worse than touching some onions. I don't know what I have to do it today. For my family, anything for my family. Yeah, so we just came back from Disney World. We had a great time. We did um, three different amusement parks. So we did Magic Kingdom. We did, let me turn this down because I heard a little back there just baby doing his thing. Uh -huh. Let me turn these kids off too. Turn it down. Put, like, put these up a little more smaller. So yeah, we went to, I want to turn that down. I see that one. Okay. I'm going to have to still pick that pickle up. I already know y'all I'm, I'm working with my hands right now. So this, I'll go ahead and put that garlic in the pot. Okay. So I have the garlic in there. Let me put some honey in there. Right here is enough just for the whole salad. 
So I'm using the same knife with a lot of stuff. My sister's tomatoes and everything. So I'm not gonna dirty it in my kitchen. I don't give a damn. I ain't gotta be that bougie. I promise you, because I'm gonna be the one in here cleaning up this kitchen. I guess my son's gonna be using it. I don't wanna have to put all that on me. I'm gonna cut it up and look beautiful. 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 Try to make the pieces as small as you can. It ain't gotta be perfect though. Go back through it, cook through it a couple of times. Trying to make sure the camera can see me. Let me drink some of this water, y'all. I'm a little. All right, the butter is melting. So off camera, I'm doing the same process, putting the salmon in the butter. Nothing special. So with that being said, since I've already seasoned the lettuce, I'm gonna come through and I'm just gonna sprinkle some ham evenly throughout the salad, just so, you know, give it a little more filling. I'm gonna come back and sweep my flow because I see I didn't drop a piece of pickle and I dropped some ham. And leave that down there. We don't want no friends, we don't want no rodents. Got a little creep back there behind my house, baby. We don't need the raccoon strong right down my back. Okay, so I've done that. Um, let me go ahead and put my eggs in. I'm gonna go ahead and lunch them with cold water and try to like rush, rush cool them. I hope they're done. The water that flowed all the way out of them, so I'm gonna uh, put that on there for a minute. So as I've already, if, I see, if you see any big pieces, I mean, you don't want your family eat them. If you trust you and your hands, you know, you can go back through it and break them up. If you have some gloves, you can put them on. If not, honey, I'm not cooking for a cafeteria, I'm cooking for my family. Um, so, I have my tomatoes as well. Go through, make sure I don't see any pieces with the little green spots at the back. Take those out. You don't want to put that in your salad. Y'all, and, um, I ain't another thing. I'm doing this too as well to, you know, show what I can do. And if not, I'm open to learning new recipes. If you have any recipes you want me to try, I can learn it and try to put this, you know, in front of y'all to try to see if I can get it done right. To us as women, we need to get back in the kitchen. Cook for our family, provide for our family, um, and that's it. That's what I, you know, that's what I'm saying for. I'm trying to come better on it. And like I told y'all, that's what this channel is going to be about. If I can find out any hustles, any good jobs, any things like that that I find out, I'm going to start disclosing it in this channel. I'm trying to move off of Facebook, not so much all the time, like fully, but you can always still see me on there doing my thing and being regular. I'm putting the pickles on now, y'all. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and put my pickles on there. I'm going to go ahead and add my cheese. My, my eggs will be last. You can put this in whichever order that you would like to. However, I'm just cooking it the way I want to. So I have the other salmon over here. I'm just trying to brown it. Let me check it. Make sure it's doing what it needs to do. It's almost doing what it needs to do. That's right. I have this. We grab the 
go with the Mexican four cheese. I got a lot of cheese in my refrigerator because I've been making um, homemade macaroni and cheese. So I keep shredded cheese in my refrigerator. I had to get that up. That food on that floor was irritating the hell out of me. to take out when you get back. All right, so I have two bags that are already open. I don't know how much cheese you like or how much you want, but I'm gonna definitely cover up my salad with cheese. Let me move this out the way. And thank God that the expiration date says August 22nd because I'm really uh, like real, I ain't gonna sound bad about that, but I'm real strict about that. Like I, do, I cannot eat shit that's old. I have to check my expiration dates. I'm not into oh, it's still good, it be. That's just a little mold, no, baby, no. So I put my foot around. I'm gonna come hit these corners and these edges. Cover that up. My last little piece that I'm gonna probably well before the eggs is my bacon bits. So I'll go ahead and cover that up with bacon bits as well. And I'm gonna finish that up. There. So again, I didn't even need the other tomato. I only used one tomato. I mean, two tomatoes. I didn't use all three of them. All right, so I have that done. Go ahead and sprinkle these bacon bits on. We have ranch in the refrigerator already chilling. Um, I cannot use my teeth for stuff like this no more. So I have to always have something. And these little packages come with like that little fresh square thing that keeps the food fresh, so make sure if you look for that, like if you're gonna use the whole bag like I am, make sure you're not serving that to nobody because they're gonna think you're crazy. Yeah, here it is right here. Make sure you all don't put that in there. I'm telling you, it's safe to not eat. Don't eat that. Throw that away. But y'all should already know that, but still, you have to tell some people. So, the salmon over here is cooking, browning, doing its thing. I'm gonna probably come on over here and try to check one side and see what it's really doing. pieces just breaking apart. Like I said, I don't know if it's because I skinned the hell out of it. But I wasn't serving it back again. Not on my first go round. Maybe next go round, I might be like, let's try with the skin and see if it's better or whatever. But no, I wasn't going for that skin. Okay. So I flip that over. Let that cook a little bit more. We have the salad over here looking luscious. I'm waiting on the eggs to finish cooling down so I can put that on there. I'm gonna grab some foil because I told y'all I thought I said a fly from swimming around. All right, so I'm gonna check back with the eggs in just a second to see if they're cool. I'm cover this with foil. I would put it in the refrigerator normally to make it cold because everybody likes cold salad. However, I um I don't think I have enough room in my refrigerator at the moment because we we just went grocery shopping. So I'm gonna cover that up and get that out of my way. This is all over here. That's the salad. So while that's going, let me go ahead and start getting chicken season. Uh, I told y'all I'm gonna be frying chicken as well. Oh. And then again, um, that ain't gonna just say I'm from the old school, but I season my meat in my, my feet. 
So I don't, I'm that's why I'm cleaning my face now. Wash me with the soap and water and all that because I don't want to hurt y'all. It's not, it's not, um, and then at night time when we wash this, we're trying to get you bleach. So our sink ain't, ain't nobody, we the first people to ever live in this house. Our sink is cool. You know that don't mean nothing new because it'll be coming from the factory. But okay, so I did that. Let me go ahead and cut open these little drumettes. Cut open the packs. Put this in here so I can wash my meat off. I always clean the meat off, y'all. Don't just be cooking. You ain't living outside. I'm only about to cook it like 12 or 15. It's going to be one pot round. I'm not doing all of it. I'm just making this for my niece and the other person in the house that's not eating um, sweet stuff. I'm going to throw it off by clean. Once my hands all the way through, I'm trying to get every piece of spray of water. You get that bloody extra little fat pieces that don't need to be there that is just Nasty or something. Yeah, I'm gonna get that up out there. Okay, so I'm starting out by cleaning my cleaning my meat, and before I go ahead and start seasoning, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare a pot or a skillet with some grease. cook smarter than I hard. This video may be long because I'm new to trying to talk and make videos at the same time, but you definitely gonna get the time down. I'm gonna start printing stuff off of camera, so all I have to do is just do like the main parts. So I'm gonna start with like, I ain't gonna need a whole lot of grease, but just enough for me to cover one side of the chicken and then I can flip it over. So I'll go ahead and start this to get the warming up. heat up on the salmon a little bit because it's cooking a little slower than the first batch and that's cool like I said I would always cook it lower it can turn up the heat and cook it too fast and burn something. Okay. So let me go ahead and start seasoning this. I'm filming to my hands. I'm just going to do the basic salt, pepper, little garlic, little seasoning salt. Put a little bit of this bouillon just because it gives me that chicken flavor. I'm not going to use too much. I'm not trying to go too heavy with the seasoning, but I don't want it tasting like this something that we have the cafeteria at a school. I definitely want you to taste a little of it. I'm going to start by coating with a little salt, a little pepper. But I wish back in the day, my aim is to stuff for cooking me some separate foods, honey. We didn't have choices like that. But I understand my, my niece is allergic, so let me not say that. Um, it's just, they be like, baby, you, ain't, you don't eat it, you just don't eat it. She's going to make you some cereal. I'm not cooking up two things. Yeah, this smells so good in my kitchen right now. a little hole in it, not even much, just enough so I can still sprinkle it. I'm making like I'm making some noodles, some chicken noodles. I like it. All right, so I did it on one side, put the chicken, season it, do the same shit, repeat. Repeat on the other side. If you don't like a lot of seasoning, you can season on one side. I'm rinsing the meat out, so I'm gonna store it off with the same process. 
Your chicken should be looking like this. You can dust it off or whatever, however you want, but the more that's on there, the crispier that it'll be. I'm letting that salmon probably brown like another one or two minutes, and then I'll go ahead and uh, put that in the pan. I have these potatoes back here that are new boiling. I'm going to get a skillet. Put some butter, garlic, onion powder, and stuff like that in the skillet and brown them around. Like I said, I've seen that on Trick Daddy's, um, Trick Daddy's cooking show. So I'm going to try it on my side. I'm going to let my grease keep up. So I'm going to grab these potatoes, pour this water off. Looks like they've already dipped and salt and everything's perfect. I'm draining them off of my hand just because I know I've let them cool off good enough. Move this over. I have shrimp as well, baby. I'm doing my dad's thing in his day. So it's like I got a lot going on. So I'm not gonna use a whole lot of butter in here because I don't want to over, I'm not gonna say overpower, but I just don't want to like it be soaking in um, 
butter. I need it to be browning. So let me go ahead and turn this up. I'll cut up some little garlic. Told y'all my counter is clean. I clean it every night, disinfect it, and I was prepared for the cooking segment. So, anything that touched my cabinet and not my flow is getting used. Potatoes up in half. Let me rinse my knife off. My knife that I'm using every time. The shrimps and the rice gonna be the last thing I cook because I want my shrimps to still be warm, and that you know that don't take a long time. So y'all can come over here, and I'm just going to cut these up while we finish getting this last little thing of, let me move my towels over, last little uh, batch of salmon cooking. So just the front, we'll turn it down a little bit. We're trying to melt this, get this going. This is melting. I might have to add a little more butter on there because I don't like it to be like this thick. Yeah, 
turn this light on. All right, so that's going. Let me add the garlic in here that I was going to add to the. I was going to add that to the potatoes, but I'm just going to use the seasoning and not the actual garlic. So, let me do that that way. Still waiting on this little grease to put up, baby. This is a new day stove. I don't want to put it on hot because I don't like to cook my chicken on high like this. Because I don't like it to cook too fast. Like the seeds right there, they're going to be. Alright, I'm going to do this. So, this is the honey garlic glazed salmon. I have two different utensils over here. I'm gonna turn this a little bit this way, even though I don't like it hanging this way. I always turn your pots to the other way, y'all, because it's safer. If you bump the edge of the thing, my kid daddy taught me that. If you bump the edge of it, these are already boiled. So, like I said, um, you pre-boil them, I let them warm up. I'ma cut them up and put them inside of the pan to try to brown the insides of them. Make sure you cook them first, y'all. Don't go doing nothing crazy. Putting them right out the bag. Saying, no, no, I said all you have to do is cut them up. No, it's no idea. I said you need to boil them first. Let them cool off to where you can go in there and cut them up. And then you can go in there and add your little seasonings or whatever you want to add to add your little stuff to them. Start adding a little garlic powder and stuff in there as well, just so it can start doing what it needs to do. Put a little onion powder. Let that go on and stir up a little bit. It's going to brown on all the sides. I might add a little more butter in there because I don't want it sticking and burning and smoking out my kitchen. So the butter will keep stuff together. Alright, the butter over here is melting for the salmon, so let me grab my tongue. Go ahead and start putting that in there. Yeah, this may be my last batch. These are just the little small potatoes you find at Walmart, not the red ones. I had got the golden ones. Just because I wasn't doing a seafood boil, I wanted like more of a regular potato. But I wanted to try these cut up potatoes with them seasoned and buttered and I guess grilled or toasted on the inside. Okay, toasted or grilled. Be careful with these as well when you cut it with your hands. Like, don't get too happy with them. You don't want to cut your finger. I'm cutting all these up in the bowl so I can just sprinkle them and grab them and put them in there. So while that's sitting over there, the, the salmon that's sitting by itself all 
I'm gonna come back through and try to like resaturate the salmon, making sure that any of the excess butter is on there. Grab your spoon, set it right on on top of there. Whatever you got. That's why I'm trying to make different batches of it and stuff so it'll be enough. Okay. So I have that going. That going. I might add a little salt and a little black pepper. Oh, y'all. Benny's nailed in this little season. I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, grease. Look like it. I don't know if that's as hot as the grease is gonna get, but we're gonna go ahead and try to test it out with a, uh, a wing. Let's see, does it just sit there or does it? Okay, it's cooking. So let me go ahead and put my chicken in here. I'm gonna put this out of the way. And I'm gonna turn this down because I don't want it cooking too fast. I already see how the grease is popping. No, that's too fast. Burning. Uh, it's cooking too fast, y'all. So let me turn this all the way down to like medium. I'm going to try to let it cook and then cool for a little bit. And then I'll put it back on there. Yeah, that should be not like it was that hot in the bike. Okay, let me put that on there. Let that grease cool down a minute and take it off of the fire. So let the whole actual owl cool down because that was too much. And then I should be able to come over here and cut up my eggs and go ahead and put those on top of my salad. Okay. I'm gonna let that cook for a minute and I'm gonna smoke. you put in there though it will cool the grease down especially if the chicken is still cold so first of all, I turned it down but you can go ahead and lay it in there I'm still turning it down 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 because I want it to cook but I don't want it to cook fast because I want it to still have a good golden brown on the outside and not be fast cooked but slow cooked on the inside if that makes sense so I'm trying to so don't splash putting the chicken in there because it can cause a dangerous fire. So I'm trying to put as many as I can in there to try to cool down this grease and, and slow it down. Because the more, you know, it's like if you don't have a lot of grease and you put it in there, it should cook slower than if you had a lot of grease in there. Some of this is over layering too because in a minute once I'm pushing it around, it should I should have more room than what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the flour up. Um, let me stir my potatoes. Oh, 
recipe and I'm browning them. And so I do see some of them browning. They're doing just what I need them to do. Let me rinse it again. Make sure the ones at the bottom is not cooking fast and the ones at the top ain't cooked. You want them to be evenly cooked. So it looks like it's on a good time now, a good temperature. It's cooling down, it's not cooking as fast as it was. So usually I think chicken takes about 15 minutes. Um, so I would let it cook for about seven or eight minutes on one side and then one, seven or eight minutes on the other side as well. I told y'all to clean while you cook. Um, I have the salmon over here doing what it needs to do. I'm just turning this over. I'm trying to brown it on both sides so that whenever I put it in the oven, it, I don't have to worry about it being raw and stuff. Cause baby, we don't eat raw meat in this house. Everybody has their own preferences, but I'm a well done type of one. So if I have any option, or if you ever had a chance to buy me dinner or food, <laughs> I like it well done. I like it, I like it crispy. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna survive with these veneers, but I definitely do not like anything undercooked. All right, so I'm still, still watch your potatoes, y'all. You don't want them to get overcooked. I'm just trying to brown them on like the middle and the back side. That's what I feel like the concept was. So the, the putting them in the pot with the butter and the seasoning. So I'm gonna let that keep cooking for maybe like two or three more minutes, not long, and I'll take it off and have it. So these over here, these look excellent. So while I'm letting that cook, I'll go ahead and come back over here so we can go ahead and do these eggs. the whole time just look for that skin, peel it off, and make sure you rinse all the shells off. Nobody don't like shells and they eat. I'm gonna give it down to the uh, sunny side up eggs, scrambled eggs, whatever. You have to take the eggs and shell off. So make sure you do that well. So like I said, if you do it while you're using the cold water trying to de shell the egg, it'll make it much easier for you. So rinse the off once those are all the shell and crack, uh, then we'll cut them up and sprinkle them on top of the salad. I have a little bowl in my sink and I'm putting the shells in. I'm not just going in there. And I'm still watching my other food. I'm going to go stir my potatoes. Cause you got both sides when you're in the kitchen. You can't just let one stuff burn up and be sure for the other stuff. You know, like, like, you're in with the food, but she burnt up the bread a little bit. Cause I'm gonna put my little toast on in just a second. That's gonna be last. My bread and my, uh, and my shrimp. So I'm gonna put my shrimp on in just a second. Make sure you do that well. Make sure you get the shrimp off. Cause they don't like the shrimp to be on top of the salad. And that should be real easy. I mean, that's, that's the last. So this is the last one that wanna be living with me. But I'm, I'm gonna get on with the next two. I'm not worried about this. Honey, we're gonna eat dinner. It's left and it's a little water. That one don't even feel that good for me. You know what? I'm gonna throw that one away. We ain't gotta be greedy. I don't like it to feel nasty. Like I told y'all when I was taking that skin off that salmon, that was the nastiest shit I've ever seen. And I do see this one right here. You can't fuck it. Get back from my food.
Start with the titles again. Um, basically crisping the insides of the potatoes, making them. You know how like red skin potatoes be a little crunchy and stuff. Yeah, we're just browning them over there, basically. Yeah, so I'm trying to flip any of them flat over that I can, just to try to get that brown effect on the middle of them. Over here, start trying to flip and turn over some of this meat. I'm gonna turn the fire up just a little bit because it seems like it's cooking a little slow now, and I want it to go ahead and cook. So I don't want it to be sitting here soggy, not cooking, just soaking in grease. So I did turn the dial up a little bit more towards medium. This stove cooks a little faster than I thought. I'm new to this stove, so I'm trying to get used to it as well. Excuse me, y'all, if I'm talking a little low, I'm new to this, so please bear with me. The more that I make the videos and go back and watch and see how I did, then I'll be able to know where I need to improve. So please be patient with me. I think I had just flipped it, the baby is starting to brown over there. It's cool. I don't want it to over brown, like I tell y'all. I'm going to try to hope I can get a good plate at the end to do my little picture to show y'all what it turned out like. Put mine on 400. Start broiling, okay? Let me see what my broiling lights got to be put on because that's what I'm going to get done. 425, which I'm going to cook them on 400 because I don't like to cook shit fast. Sure ain't no excess water in them. Yeah, I'm good for chopping shit up in a little bowl or a little plate, whatever I got at the time. Maybe break it work. You ain't gotta be all perfect, you ain't gotta be a certain size. It's all getting eight long as it ain't just too big or I can't spread it over the hole in the bowl, and I should be okay. Yeah, and please be careful with the knife. I feel like I had almost cut myself back. Blood and food don't go good together. I don't want nobody food that got blood in it. Be careful. You don't want to be cutting yourself. You can't go to work the next day like you want to over there cussing Nana out. I'm talking about Nana and told me to cut these eggs up in the bowl. 
I didn't put the syrup. No, 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 honey. I didn't. Okay, so bring my salad back over here. All right. I'm gonna sprinkle my eggs on top. My kids should be home any minute now. I don't know when, but they've been gone for a minute. It's dark outside, so. Just want to evenly spread you some eggs on there. Okay. Right there is me. Right there is me. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cover that back up because I told you I feel like it's fly flying around in here. And I don't want that shit on my food. So let me go ahead and take out this last batch of salmon. And we're going to put this in the oven on royal. for stretching my face, y'all. Let me rinse my hand on my head. My face is good. You touch your face and you hurt and everything like that. Wash your hands, y'all. Don't nobody want to touch after your face and all that. I mean, eat after your face and all that. I'm going to put some of these lemons in the corner just to let them go ahead and do their thing. They got to be perfect. I'll put some in here. So this is the finished product of the different salmon. Some of it is broke up, some of it is still in pieces. I'm gonna put it in the oven on broil. Take it out and check it and make sure it's not burning. Make sure that it has juice and liquid on it or the, the glaze on it. I'm gonna have to clean my stove for real tonight because it's all type of sticky stuff on here. Um, let me go ahead and check on this. I'm gonna go ahead and get a pot boiling for my, for my rice. So like I told you, when you're cooking, you have to be able to multitask. So I'm just to rinse out one of the pots and get my pot prepared for my uh, bowl for my rice. Still on. I'm gonna let that go ahead and start boiling. And this is still not cooking as fast as I need it to, y'all. Let me turn it back up a little bit. I just don't want it cooking fast. Some of it's getting a little brown, but I'm gonna turn it up and down a little bit. It's fine. Now, anytime you cook chicken, you gotta have something to drain your grease off. Don't put it too close to the half so you don't burn nothing. I don't 
Mm. Some potatoes is good. start preparing the, the chicken is cooking it's, it's like it's starting to speed up cool i'm getting the garlic knots i'm gonna do two boxes of garlic knots this i see it's like 10 of us so that should be 12. and this is me cooking heavy y'all i usually don't cook this heavy but like i said we have people in the house that's not eating seafood or people that's allergic to seafood and Well, it's not in the damn sink. Scooping, baby. I'm gonna be scooping my meat out this grease and trying to rotate it around again. Make sure there's no water on it because that shit gets to popping around when you're dealing with that grease.
what it is. It's the, I'm proud of my people, y'all. Yeah, see what I tell it is. And then what you doing? Okay, the food on the bread. I'm just putting the bread in there. Let's all take these shrimps. Done. Amen. Okay, I'm just checking on y'all. Okay, cool. Check on my kids. Checking the bottom of my bread too because I don't want it to overcook. So it looks like you can do like one more minute, probably by the time I put this juice around on here and let this juice do what it needs to be doing and coming from one side to another. And it'll be time for me to go ahead and put it. Thank 
So yeah, we're just going to the bottom of this to get any type of honey, liquid spread that I can grab with my spoon and savoring it back on top. I savoring it for covering it, whatever the right word is. Though. We don't want no piece to be dry, no piece to be left out. I'll leave it with a little bit of honey. Okay, so I did that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the oven. And I'm gonna go ahead and probably pull my knots out. Let me check it. And when they start getting like this, which I mean, they feel like, yeah, they're a little crunchy, it's time to go. You don't want your stuff. Look, already finished store beefing. Because once they cool off, they're not gonna be soggy or nothing in the inside. As long as they're cooked and they're brown on one side, it's good. So again, I'm gonna cover these with foil as well. I don't know if it's gonna fly in here somewhere or not, but I don't want nothing on my food. Okay, got that going. That salmon, I'm gonna let that broil for about another five or ten minutes, and then we'll pull that up out of there. I told y'all I'm a big fan of cleaning while I cook. So that once I'm done, I don't have that much left to do. Um, probably like two or three more minutes on the rice because I don't want no old uh, soggy rice. I want it to cook. Okay, it's going to get crunchy. Yeah, I'm also letting this cook low and slow. You hear what I'm saying? Because you want the inside to be done. You don't want to have bloody meat because you're try to cook it all. You just want you think it's brown. Oh, it's ready. No, let that meat cook. Flip it around. Rotate it a couple of times, baby. First time you see some brown, it's not ready. Any ones that's on the outside that looking like it's cooking slow, I'm putting it in the middle. You can stab the middle of it. It'll help it speed up a little bit more on the cooking as well, too. So make sure that it's getting right in there where that bone is, where that blood is. You want to cook that. Don't got time for no salmonella, no, none of that, honey. Don't cook it. Got like two more minutes on the rice. I hear about the bugs. Let this chicken cook for like another five, maybe six minutes, and then it should be done.
Like this one didn't even never did. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. That's enough for me. I'm gonna let that set to the side. I am gonna braid and make sure, see if it feels soft. It do, that's good enough for me. I'm gonna let that sit in the hot water for maybe one minute. And then I'll pull it out. Like you see that golden fried chicken. I've always had compliments on my chicken though. That's one thing I can cook. Everybody can't cook chicken. They can't. Some people, I don't know. I ain't talking about nobody. I'm just saying some people can't cook chicken. But yeah, this salmon is looking excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and do this shrimp and then we're done. I don't even think I need shrimp, y'all. You know what? I think I'm going to go off on the shrimp because I'm going to be tired. I ain't even going to lie. I'm not going to cook the shrimp, so I'm going to have either they're going to have salmon or they're going to have chicken. I'm not going all the way out. I'm tired tonight. I have to go to work. So we're going to have salmon, rice, potato, salad, and garlic knots. So I'm finishing up on this chicken. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I will include some pictures at the end of how some of the plates might have turned out. Thank you again so much for watching, y'all, and I look forward to seeing you again.